Hi YouTube! So my name is Elizabeth and I am here to chat with you guys about some more breastfeeding tidbits and something that I want to talk with y'all today about is the dangers of fenugreek. Fenugreek is a galactagogue which basically means that it just increases your milk supply. It's a fancy way of saying it increases your milk supply. Um, but it is a supplement that you take. There are pills, um, herbal teas, all sorts of things that you ingest orally and it's supposed to increase your milk supply. One of my biggest concerns with fenugreek is that people think that it's nothing, that it's it's all natural, it's an herb, it's not a big deal, but medicine, it's still medicine, it's still a supplement, and it's changing parts of your body chemistry, and so you really need to be mindful of that when you take it for a multitude of reasons. But there are several reasons why I do not believe that you should freely be taking fenugreek just because you think your supply might be low or without the guidance of a healthcare professional. So my first concern with fenugreek is that a lot of people get confused and think that their supply is low when it's actually quite normal. Your baby is going to be having growth spurts around three weeks, six weeks, 12 weeks, and also three months, um, six months, 12 months. Those are all big growth spurts for babies. And so babies are going to be nursing more. This does not mean that your supply is low. This simply means that your baby is telling your body to make more. Breastfeeding is supply and demand. The more you nurse, the more your body makes. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you don't actually have a low supply. Something else to keep in mind is around three, four months postpartum, your milk supply regulates. That means that your body is finally figuring out what your baby needs and is going to make that much. This is about the time when people also go back to work, which causes issues because all of a sudden your pumping output goes way down. But again, your milk supply is not low. You were just producing more than your baby needed before, and hopefully now you're producing around what your baby needs. Keep in mind, your baby only needs an ounce to an ounce 0.25 for every hour that they're away from you. So you don't need to increase the volume of feeds as your child gets older, as you do with formula and you don't need to be giving tons and tons. If you give your baby tons and tons of milk, if you're gone for three hours and that somebody feeds it seven ounces, its little belly's going to expand. It's probably gonna be fussy because it's gonna be sore and it's going to start preferring the bottle because the pace and everything's faster, but you're overfeeding your baby in that sense. And I can do a video on pace bottle feeding because I also think that's important, but that's for another time. I won't discuss it any further here. But anyway, so, Fenugreek, people think they have low supply and they don't, so they take fenugreek, unnecessary. Fenugreek also, if you truly do have a low supply, puts a band-aid on a festering wound. So instead of doing that, what I think it's important to do is go meet with a lactation consultant and figure out why your supply is low. Several things that can cause low supply are a lip or tongue tie, baby being an ineffective sucker, um, a poor latch, and thrush can also cause issues. So on the mom's end, you know, you could have PCOS or other issues, and these are all things that you would want to discuss with your lactation consultant. And it's not to say that you shouldn't take fenugreek to help boost your supply, but you should also be dealing with these issues with a health professional to sustain a good breastfeeding relationship. So besides causing issues with supply, something else that fenugreek does that a lot of people are unaware of is that it interferes with several other hormone regulating systems in your body. So if you suffer from hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar, or you're diabetic and you take medication to lower your blood sugar and you're trying to keep it in a really strict range, your the fenugreek actually makes your blood sugar get low. And so it can have detrimental effects to both those who already suffer from hypoglycemia and those who can get um, medication-induced hypoglycemia by combining the fenugreek with their normal diabetic medications like insulin or oral drugs that you take for diabetes. So if you have any issues with blood sugar, you definitely want to steer clear of fenugreek. Similarly, if you have issues with having hypothyroidism, you want to steer clear of fenugreek because it decreases the free T3, which is the thyroid hormone in your body. With this decrease, if you suffer from hypothyroidism, your thyroid doesn't kick into gear and make more. You just deplete the stores that you have and you deplete what you've been supplementing yourself with, with your Synthroid, and then you have issues. So if you suffer from hypothyroid or you don't have a thyroid, or if you just have thyroid issues in general, even hyper, I would not take fenugreek. 
Fenugreek also um, has interactions with several medications, MAOIs, which are uh, a medication that people take for depression. It interferes with those and should not be combined, and also blood thinners, so heparin, warfarin, things like that. If you take fenugreek with those, it intensifies the blood thinning actions and can cause you to have bleeding, which is not good. So something else, a lot of people suffer from a low supply during their pregnancy. This is very normal as your body gears up to create another human being and, and give birth and breastfeed that baby. But fenugreek actually is a uterine stimulant, so you cannot take fenugreek when you are pregnant. It could cause preterm contractions, which would be very, very bad, obviously, and not something that you want to do. So something that's a little bit less severe is that fenugreek just makes you smelly. It makes you smell like maple syrup, your urine and your sweat. And since it's being excreted through your body, it also comes through your breast milk. And some babies get exceptionally crazy gassy when you take fenugreek. This can be compounded with the fact that people can actually get an oversupply from fenugreek. And so your baby's getting this massive letdown, getting so much milk, they're also getting gassy and fussy and having really bad tummy aches. In conclusion, is fenugreek in and of itself bad? No, but fenugreek is a medication that should be taken under the guidance of a doctor or a lactation consultant to help temporarily fix any supply issues that you're having while you're dealing with the long-term issues like clipping a tongue tie or getting uh, physical therapy to help your child to suck better. That's my personal opinions. A lot of those are medically based. Um, so next time somebody tells you to just take fenugreek, I want you to really think about it and just look into the side effects and meet with a lactation consultant. Like those are your warriors. Those are your breastfeeding champions. They want you to succeed. They want to help you succeed. And that's why they're there. So try and find one local to your area and make sure that you have a good support system. I have a video about how to naturally pump more breast milk that does not include any supplements, fenugreek or otherwise. So if you guys wanna check that out for more tips, go ahead and do that. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.